just want to reference here, the video that you're watching is the first we're getting in uh, of this new video from the scene. You can see people standing there just shaking their heads. We talked to witnesses this morning who said the feeling there now in Isla Vista is just a, a strong sense of confusion. Nobody understands, obviously, why it would happen. And some people are probably trying to wrap their head around exactly what did happen. But you can see the strong presence of police cars, the tape that has cordoned off, uh, as we understand, a huge uh, swath of that uh, little downtown area in this small college town that's a beachside community. Mike Brooks with us now. Mike, how long do you think, with nine crime scenes pocketed uh, throughout this area, it's going to take? for them to compile their information and let people get back there. You know, just looking at this video that's not coming in now, Christy, it looks like a very, very large area. You know, when you've got nine crime scenes, so I would say a good part of this Isla Vista downtown area is going to be shut off uh, for at least the rest of today. While they, while the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Office, the FBI, California Highway Patrol, while they go about processing each one of these crime scenes, because even though the gunman is now dead, uh, the alleged gunman is dead, they still have to process the scene just like uh, they would any other scene. So they're going to take their time. There's no hurry. There's no rush. Uh, and, and now also trying to find out what the motive was for this shooting.